The decision to get a tattoo is something most put a lot of thought into. Which is why customers say what's happening here at Level Up Tattoo in Great Falls is even that much more painful. I've gotten like eight tattoos done by them in the past. Catherine Barnes is now out of state, but says it all started when the shop reached out, saying they'd be visiting nearby and offered her time for a tattoo. I was actually super excited because I had something in mind that I've been wanting done for a long time. Things started seeming weird when they asked for a $200 deposit. Then it became $400. Then they reached out again. She had reached out um, a week or two after I initially scheduled, offering me a discount if I would pay in full. A day before her appointment, Barnes was canceled on and promised a refund. She had sent it via PayPal, but whenever it said it was processing, it never cleared. Months later, she still hasn't received the money. They said that they've issued refunds to everybody that needs it. That's not true. I haven't received mine. It turns out Barnes isn't alone. The Better Business Bureau says that Level Up hasn't been licensed since 2012, and they reached out to the business regarding the refund issues back in August. Now consumers are expected to report to the Montana Office of Consumer Protection to get more help. An unfair or deceptive trade practice is the definition of a uh, a consumer complaint. Jacob Griffith is the supervising attorney with Montana's Office of Consumer Protection. If you have an issue with the business, our office is the place to, to contact. On their website, you can see Level Up Tattoo has six prior complaints. The Office of Consumer Protection says they will reach out to a business regarding a complaint within a few days with the goal of getting the business to respond within 30 days. If that doesn't happen within that 30 day mark, then there's going to be a second attempt and then a third attempt. The ultimate goal is to try to resolve the issue between the consumer and the business. At this point, I honestly would just like my money just given back to me. I don't think it needs to go to like court. Katrina also had trouble with Level Up back in 2022. She asked that we not use her last name, but says when she arrived for a tattoo, she was rescheduled due to being double booked. There was there was no correspondence, no communication that, hey, you know, I'm so sorry I double booked you. However, after being rescheduled multiple times, Katrina managed to get her money back. Give, I just need my 200 bucks back and I will leave you alone. With things being said on social media, KRTV has reached out to Level Up Tattoo for a statement, but has not heard anything back. We will update you as we learn and confirm more. In Great Falls, I'm Tommy Lynch, MTN News.